In this video, we will talk about workspaces. Here we have a fresh installation of mail and deploy. The first thing we have to do after the installation is to create a workspace. What are workspaces? Workspaces are used to organize and manage content. The best way to understand this is with an example. We are going to create one workspace by clicking on this button down here and we're going to call it Human Resources. Then we click Save. Our workspace is not yet activated. Now we click on this icon and activate the workspace and you can immediately check out what happens to the menu on the left. The workspace's content appears. All of this belongs to this workspace Human Resources. Here you can see the active workspace. So why is it important to have workspaces or how is it helpful to have workspaces? The human resources use case is a good example. Let's pretend you have an app that contents employees' salaries. Very likely only a few people are allowed to see this app. And therefore, only these few people should be able to make reports out of this app. In that case, you would have, for instance, the human resources workspace. And another one that is called, the rest. This is just for fun and to keep this example simple, you can, of course, have finance, logistics, etc. as well. Similar to ClickSense Streams or similar to ClickSense Security, Mail and Deploy offers authorizations. In the Authorizations section you can say, OK, give permissions to this workspace only to a few selected people. To have, for instance, manage content permission means this person is allowed to access the management console and create reports. So that's how workspaces work in mail and deploy. And that was a bit of an overview of how to use the authorizations and why are they important together with their workspaces. I just have to add that you can have only one workspace. You do not need more. If you have a specific use case like this example, then you can have more than one workspace. And that's it. Thanks for watching.